for the Rangers, the guy at the top of the power structure, Chris Drury, the general manager of Team USA. In addition to his Ranger responsibilities, he put together the 2021 IIHF World Championship roster. He said, we're excited with the roster we have and look forward to the World Championship. It's a unique year and we appreciate the dedication and commitment of everyone. We really like our team and our goal, like every other team our country puts on the ice, is to bring home a gold medal. The roster with some notable forwards. Oh yes, that Jason Robertson coming off the rookie campaign that still has Dallas Stars fans buzzing and fans around the league. Connor Garland, Kevin LeBanc. If you look at Donato has Team USA experience by the bushel, and his family does as well. Looking at that group, plenty to be excited about if you're Jack Capuano. Looking at the roster, and you guys have both looked at the entire roster, Grimmer, who jumps out at you? Yeah, a couple of guys, and, and maybe just a, a, a note to preface this. You know, different year. It's a pandemic, uh, you know, shortened schedule, uh, you know, varying amount, varying players available. And I don't think a lot of the top-end guys are necessarily falling all over themselves. Having established, you know, their identity as NHLers, they're not falling all over themselves to go to Latvia and play extra hockey this year, given the circumstances, um, you know, COVID here and abroad. So I think what you've got really is a basket of young players who, you know, for for different reasons are looking to kind of uh, establish an identity for themselves. You know, they're trying to carve out a, a niche with respect to their 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 spot on their own respective rosters, and they're taking advantage of this opportunity to go overseas and to do that. So a guy that comes to mind is one that we just had on that board, uh, Ryan Donato. Three years an NHLer, and he's been a part of three different organizations in all three years. So, so here clearly is a guy, Donato showed a whole lot of offensive upside plan for his father at Harvard over the course of, I believe, his three years years at Harvard and and has kind of struggled to have it transferred but this is a young guy that comes off the bench shooting um, he's he's shown a proficiency for finding the back of the net but hasn't really been able to to demonstrate that at the NHL level and again taking advantage of an opportunity here to be able to do that Tage Thompson mm -hmm. is another guy that is is kind of I think taking advantage of an invitation by uh, USA Hockey to take part in the the world championships also looking to do that six foot seven believe it or not still at six foot seven I don't think we've seen the ceiling on young Tage Thompson mm. he's got more to his game he wants to play some extra hockey he recognizes uh, demonstrated again at the amateur level and both these guys that I mentioned have bar been part of the US developmental team at an earlier stage in their careers but Tage Thompson will benefit you made this point last night mm -hmm. weeks in I thought it was it was spot on you never know who's watching yeah. you never know what decision that, yeah. maker is making at some point some point further down the road why not given the opportunity given the invitation go overseas you know, build your skill set, improve your skill set, add to your maturation, take advantage of the opportunity on the world stage. Absolutely, 100%. All, for all those reasons and more. And for all those reasons yeah. and more. Yeah. And you just talked about, you never know who's watching. Longtime NHLer, my boy Aaron Burroughs, is tuned in. AV, what's up? I know you're tuned in watching the show. <laughs> but let's get back to Team USA. Jason Robertson, I'm bullish on Jason Robertson. Oh, yeah. Me too. This guy, Me too. not only does he play for the Stars, he has a chance to be a star, and this season he played like one a little Soft bit. Saw flashes of that. Totally took yeah. a little bit too long on the recall. Just saying, but nonetheless, <laughs> this guy is money. I love him and his younger brother Nick Robertson in the Toronto Maple Leafs organization. But sticking with Jason, big body, rangy, worked his way to the top line. Huge props to their coach Rick Bonus behind the bench more than any coach in the National Hockey League Ever. history. And Robertson, you see the numbers, him alongside Pavelski and Rope Hintz were one of the best lines down the stretch. I love the plus 13 rating. My eyes are lighting up like saucers, like the cartoons. Tony, you know when you watch the cartoons? And... I still watch cartoons. You, you know what I mean? Oh, of That's how my yeah. eyes light up when I watch him play. Um, yes. I love his game. That is a wonderful compliment. I want to hear what you have to say about the netminders because yeah. Team USA, when they've had success internationally, it's been guys like Ryan Miller and Jim Craig coming up huge. Jake Ottinger, Peterson, 
Stoli, the goalie. Yeah. That's the trio. What do you think? I love this trio. You know why? It's young and it's progressive. And I got to tell you, Stoli, the goalie, played real well with Anaheim. My boy, Sudzi Maharaj, their goalie coach, did a nice job with him. Stoli's overcome two knee surgeries. And to me, he's going to be a lock next year uh, in behind Gibson for the that second spot with the Ducks. Cal Peterson had himself another fine season yeah. with the L.A. Kings, played very well. He's apprenticing under the great Jonathan Quick. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of his game. He's a southpaw, which is a different look. Billy Ranford does a great job with him there, as he does with all their goalies that come through that system. But he's dynamic, yet patient. He's flexible. His teammates love him. He's easy guy to root for. And by the way, college hockey was a captain at Notre Dame when he mm -hmm. played there, Tony, with their gold helmets. And then lastly, Jake Ottinger. Progression. We talk USA Hockey all the time. The young goalies in USA Hockey that are coming out, that are now emerging on the stage. Spencer Knight, hello. Thatcher Demko, hello. Yes. Jay Gottinger, uh, hello. He's now there too and also had a really nice season for the Stars coming out of BU and played very well for them. So my boy Jeff Reese there, their goalie coach has done a nice job. With that said, I'm going to get some oxygen take it away <laughs> not a lot to add to that but you know for their respective organizations all three of those guys send them overseas with their blessings more reps means more maturation more maturation you're in a better position to ultimately take over the number one job mm. when you arrive back on north american soil mm. weeks you mentioned sudzi maharaj one of the highlights of my career was when he recognized me from nhl network and he called me Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, that boy sucks. Kevin <laughs>